Hi, Martin McKenna, Tradelock Dog Man. What's the first thing you do if you have a problem with your dog? You switch them off. How do you switch them off? Well, if I'm sitting down and suddenly I get absolutely lazy. That sound you just heard is me telling everyone around me I am switching off and you're going to switch off as well. I'm going to turn my head away lazily. I'm going to lift my chin if I have to. I'm going to close my eyelids as I'm coming across my dog and then lift my chin up again. If I need to, I'm going to calmly stand up. And I'm noticing absolutely this could be the kitchen shelf. I could be doing my shopping list. I need to buy some sugar. I need to buy some food. And all this is switching that dog off. Once that dog sits for me, okay, and gives me a little yawn, then I lazily turn back to it because it's rude not to communicate. And now I will start to address the problem. Whether it be barking, getting aggressive, jumping up on people, no matter what. The first thing you must learn to do is calmly switch that dog off by doing a few simple things and empowering my space. That's as simple as it gets, folks. If you don't do it, switch them off, you're fighting them. When you switch them off, you can eventually make a deal. So what are some of the things we can do to switch our dog off, okay? But all in a calm, relaxed manner. Turn my feet away from my dog. Hold my paws. Hold my arms. Hold my paws. Chin goes up in the air. And I hold that. You often see dogs doing it because stiff, okay? But we're not stiff. We're just up in the air like that. If they come for us for pats, simply turn away again. And the more you're ignoring your dog, the more you're switching it off. And that's a really good thing. You're not harming your dog. Your dog's not going to not like you. It's going to see the new you, okay? And that new you is switching that dog off. What we're giving our dog after years of stress and activating it is that beautiful gift of calmness. I don't know anything, any species that doesn't enjoy it. What I'm looking for when the dog switches off, number one, it lets those muscles go. You can physically feel it. And then it uh, yawns. It'll blink its eyelids a few times. Then it'll shake. Okay, and then I might do a little scratch, it doesn't as fleas, that's just getting the stress away. And then I want to see it kind of look at me, and in a position like that, if it turns its bottom away from me, that's another thing I'm looking for. And then what I want it to do is that. Mm. And now the dog is totally open to any kind of attack, and it trusts me that I won't attack it. And it's switched off. Don't rush to your dog and give it heaps of pats for doing that, okay? Because all you're going to do is activate them again. What we really need to show here is the best pat you're ever going to give a dog is that nice gift of calmness. What I'm saying to this guy is, he's just blinked his eyelids at me. And what he said to me is, thank you very much. You've just confirmed that you're non-confrontational. That you're actually willing to make a deal with me. And because we both agree on that deal, we can both relax now. Our thing goes still wandering around because it kind of still wants to be the centre of the no, show. And bang, okay, there he yeah. goes. Okay.
Tunes are very important in the dog world. You may remember your granddad saying, or grandmammy, see, just, she just lay down just then. That's because I put my chin up in the air and I closed my eyes. And what I said was, I'd really like you to lie down and be as relaxed as I am, please. Mm -hmm. So I would go, oh, no, no, no play for you. You're far too big and strong. What I want you to do is just lie down there and do that. And that's just as good when this one turns its head away from me. It's like a little package. I tell you what, we let him. He now wants space. He doesn't so much have fleas now as if he's as much as he's scratching him to self to say, What happened in the last few minutes? Who are these people? How did they know these signals? And as you can see from every dog thus far, the yawning, the turning the head away, the lying down, it doesn't matter whether it's a little dog or a big dog, they will all respond the very same. really good way of deactivating any dog is just simply close your eyes, turn your head away. And every time it wants to look at me, I'll close my eyes, move my head nice and fluidly away to the other side. <sighs> Let out a little breath. If it's still bothering me, I'll just simply turn away from it. And what I'm saying to it is, End of communication, I want you to switch off and relax because I am. That's not too hard to do, is it? So until next time, peace calm, dog.